hello everyone welcome back so guys in this video we'll try to discuss another uh, very important uh, topic inside op that means object oriented programming called class versus object because i have seen like many people have this doubt uh, like what is the class and what is the object inside op okay because there are so many confusion i have seen so let me first of all clarify what is the class and what is the object inside op okay after understanding it uh, going forward whatever code actually will be writing it would be very much clear in your mind okay so for this, uh, let me open up my code editor and let me show you some of the example there. So see guys, uh, if I just write uh, this particular statement, let's say I'll take a list. So let's say I'm having one list, one, two, three, four. And now if I just write L dot uh, upper, okay, L dot upper. And now if I execute this particular code, so what would be the output? Just uh, pause the video and let me know. See, if I execute the uh, program, it will throw me one error and the error is list object no attribute upper fine now let's i'll just write another program let's say s is equal to buppy okay now if i just write uh, let's say s dot append okay let's say i want to append f here now again if i execute the program what will be the output see if i execute the program again it will throw me one error okay it is telling me a string object no attribute append now you will tell me sir are you mad because uh, list doesn't have any kinds of upper function and string doesn't have any kinds of append function so why you are writing this kinds of wrong code here see i have written this wrong code because i wanted to show you one thing here see every time whenever i am getting this particular error every time you will see it is telling object okay it is telling object see the first thing it is telling list object no attributes uh, attribute upper a string object no attribute append Okay, now see if I just write another data type, let's say I'll take a data type, let's say a is equal to, let's say 66. Now if I just write, let's say a uh, index of 0 is equal to 1. Now if I execute, now you will see that it will throw me another error. Integer object does not support item assignment. That means in Python, everything it is considering as an object. Okay, whatever data type actually you are using, everything would be considered as an object. So there is a line actually in Python, everything in Python is an object. Okay, that is what I just wanted to show you here. Uh, because you saw the object, okay, object oriented programming, I think you saw this particular term. So that is why I just wanted to show you the relationship. Okay, what is the object and object oriented programming, okay, inside Python. So because in Python, whatever data type you are using and whenever you are storing this particular data type, okay, in a variable, this is, uh, this is actually nothing but it's an object, okay, object of that particular data type. Okay, I hope now it is clear. That means list is a data type and L is the object of this particular list. And here a string is the data type. S is the object of, the, of this particular string. And here integer is the data type. A is the object of this particular integer. Okay. I hope it is clear. Now another thing I want to show you. Let's say I'll copy the same list here. And now if I show you the type of this particular L. So type of l now see if i execute the program you'll see it will tell you it is a class list okay now similar wise i will copy the next one now instead of appending i'll just show you the type of the c again it, it is telling class string okay similar wise i will also copy this one now i'll check the type of a okay you'll see that it's a class integer that means in python whatever data type you are using it's a class okay it's a class see different different class it's a list class it's a string class and it's an integer class you can also see the implementation of this particular class how they have implemented so instead of defining this literal like that i can define like that let's say l is equal to list okay i think you know list is a, a function inside a python now see this list is a class now see if i want to see the implementation of list i'll just press control and i'll do the left click now see it will show me the implementation of this particular list class now see it's a class list is a class okay and inside that they have created different different function different different function of this particular class so similar wise a string is a class so you can use this particular statement now so to define a string you can use like that str okay str now if i again press ctrl and left click you will see that it will open this particular string class as well got it now i think you got it so in python whatever data a type you are using it's a class at the end and this particular class is having some of the functionality so let me show you so let's say if i just write like that i'll copy this line and i will execute now see if i just write like that l dot okay l dot now if i wait 
it will show me different different function you can see it will show me different different function like i can perform append operation clear operation copy operation count operation and so on so similar wise for the string as well let's say there is one string i'm having and now if i press uh now if i just write s dot uh s dot you will see that it will also suggest me some functionality related string okay now see append is not there because append is not a function inside string class okay now if i press l dot you will see this particular append now append is a function of a list class okay that's why you can see this particular function here okay now you can ask me then what is the difference between object and class see see the easy definition you can remember whatever data type you are writing okay this is called class let's say whatever data type you are using this is called class i'm using a uh, list then uh, let's say uh, string integer float then um, you can say boolean whatever actually you are using the data type this is called actually class inside python okay and to store this particular class the variable you are using this is called an object let's say here is the example so this is my data type this what kinds of data type this is my list type data type okay i think you know and to store this particular data type i'm using this particular l variable okay so here l is the object that means l is the object of list okay l is the object of list that means whatever functionality you are having inside this particular class everything can be accessed okay from this particular object so that's why whenever i'm writing l dot okay l dot so whatever functionality actually i'm having okay whatever functionality actually i'm having inside this particular list list class everything i can access okay everything i can access append co clear copy count extend everything another simple example you can remember let's say uh let's say mobile okay mobile is a class okay mobile is a class and samsung okay samsung samsung is an object object of mobile now similar wise let's say iphone okay iphone is the object of mobile then i can give another example let's say car car is an ob uh, car is in class okay car is a class and let's say tata tata is an object of car now let's say car is a class bmw okay is a is an object of this particular car okay now i think it is clear what is class and object inside op uh, whatever class you are using whatever class you are using it doesn't matter but if you are storing in a variable okay if you are storing in a variable and that particular variable uh, variable would be considered as an object inside python that's why at the very first i showed you na list dot upper i was writing that's why it was telling list object has no attribute upper because here i'm calling l and what is l l is a object of list okay that's why it's telling is an object similar wise for the string as well so here s dot append i'm doing so s uh, object does not have any append function okay that's why s is an object of string that's why s is an object here so here i'm storing this particular string inside s and s is nothing but it's an object right now of this particular string class okay that's why it's telling a string uh, object has no attribute append similar wise for the uh, integer as well okay now i think you got it what is object and class inside python okay inside object oriented programming fine and what is the syntax uh, uh, to define a class the syntax is first of all you have to take the object name okay you have to take the object object name equal to then you have to uh, define the class name let's say class name okay so this is the syntax so this is the syntax you have to always follow whenever you are creating any kinds of object of a class okay first of all give the object name equal to then class name so here i have given an example let's say mobile is the class samsung is an object mobile is the class iphone is an object okay car is the class tata is the object car is the class bmw is an object okay so that's how in a in our world uh, we are having different different actually class and with respect to that we can create different different object so let's say uh human is a class puppy is an object of human okay then let's say human is a class alex is an object of that particular human okay i hope it is clear now see inside a class i'm having some property whenever let's say uh we'll be defining our own class see this is the predefined class now this is a predefined class that, that means these are the inbuilt class inside python but going forward we'll be creating our own class our custom class so whenever we'll be writing our custom class inside that what are the property i have to mention so let me show you so guys you can see here is a diagram i kept so as of now you have learned class is a blueprint okay it's a blueprint and on top of this particular blueprint i can define an object okay now whenever i'm writing a class that means i'm creating my own class so this particular class will have 
uh, two property one is the data property okay that means you have to define the data first of all let's say uh, i was talking about car okay car is a class now what are the, the data you can consider inside a car let's say color of the car then you can consider number of tire okay of that particular car now let's say how many seats are available inside the car okay so these are the actually data okay these are the data of that particular a uh, car class okay and there is another property we will see called functions or behavior now you can tell me what is the function or behavior of a car so let me give you one example like how to drive a car how to open the door okay how to start the car so these are the functions and behavior of a car so how, how it will let's say increase the speed how it will press the brake so these are some behavior or functions of a car okay so now i think you got it what is the property of a class so whenever i am writing my own class my custom class inside this particular custom class what i have to write i have to write two uh, property one is like the data property and there was like the function or behavior of that particular class okay that is the idea now here is a class basic structure like uh, whenever we'll be defining the class inside python what would be the structure okay so here i have written a uh, simple demo you can see car is a class class car here you have to use this particular class keyword uh, then you have to write the class name okay class name so class car now inside that you can see i am having two property one is like data property another is like my functional property functional or behavior property now as a data i told you the uh, color of the car so this can be considered as a data and model of the car okay this can be considered as a data and inside that the functionality of the car that means the calculate the average speed like whenever you will drive the car it will calculate the average speed okay uh, th that means the kilometer with respect to the time so this is called actually behavior of the car okay so that's how uh, in a, a class actually will have two property one is the data property another is the function property that means the um, behavior of that particular class i hope it is clear now and what is the object object is nothing but is an uh, object is an instance of a class that means whenever you are storing any kinds of object in a variable that can be considered as a instance okay instance or object okay of that particular class so here is the example mobile is the class samsung is the object so car is the class tata is an object okay i hope it is clear now so yes this is the super important topic because going forward whenever we'll be writing our own class we'll be defining our own let's say object of that particular class so this concept will help you a lot so that you won't be having any kinds of doubt like what is the class and what is the uh, object okay now i think you got it now in the next video we'll just try to write our first class okay first class uh, inside python and we'll see like how we can write the class and inside the class how we can define our property uh, like data property as well as the functional property okay with that thank you so much for watching this particular video and i will see you next time